Ford's Bronco Sport Heritage models connect the dots back to the original 1960s Bronco with strategic sets of appearance upgrades. And underneath the special skin of the 2023 Heritage Limited is the very capable Badlands variant of the subcompact SUV, which we've lauded as quick on the road, competent beyond the pavement, and comfortable wherever it goes. So what, if any, added performance does the higher-end Heritage Retro model bring? Given that the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport Heritage Limited is built on the Badlands bones, the on-road performance is similar between the two models. However, mass is part of what separates them. The nostalgic Bronco Sport retested weighs almost 100 pounds more than a standard Badlands edition. Bronco Heritage Limited modifications account for some of that extra weight, but so does the optional moonroof and cargo management system present on our test SUV. Due partly to the added poundage, this Bronco Sport Heritage Limited is not as quick in a straight line as the 2021 Bronco Sport Badlands we tested. But it's almost as quick as its sibling, and it's still quicker than a lot of other offerings in small SUV class. Compared to the 2021 non-heritage model we tested with the same 2.0-liter turbo 4 engine and 8-speed automatic transmission, the Sport Heritage Limited needed another 0.8 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour from a standstill. In the quarter mile, the Badlands model crosses the finish line a half second sooner while traveling 1.3 miles per hour faster. The Jeep Compass might be the Bronco Sport's most direct competitor, and there's no way it would have caught this Heritage Limited with its old 177 horsepower 2.4 liter naturally aspirated inline 4, which needed 9.7 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. The 2023 Compass gets a new 200 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo 4, which should improve its quickness. We'll know when we test it, but it doesn't seem likely the Jeep could knock almost 2.5 seconds from its 0 to 60 mile per hour time, even with its newfound power and 150 pound weight advantage. The Bronco Sport Heritage Limited accelerates smartly, and body motions are well controlled through our skid pad loop and figure 8 racetrack in a bottle tests, though again the model was marginally slower than the Badlands. Some transmission finickiness reared its head, specifically in manual mode during our testing, but the SUV's power delivery was otherwise smooth. The suspension transmits a stiff on-road feel, but it wasn't especially noticeable. The Bronco Sport Heritage Limited steering is accurate, but the wheel itself isn't very communicative. The brake pedal is firm and easy to modulate, and it provides a decent initial bite. However, the tall SUV exhibited significant dive during hard braking. In regular Badlands guys, the Bronco Sport needs 8 fewer feet to come to a stop from 60 miles per hour than does the Sport Heritage, and the 1.5-liter models, which can be lighter by as much as 200 pounds, can stop in 129 feet, an advantage of 2 feet. That said, the most recent Jeep Compass we tested needed 133 feet, 2 feet more than the Heritage Limited. On road-oriented tires would probably improve its numbers, our Heritage Limited test SUV came with knobby all-terrains. They could also improve efficiency, as variants with the smaller three-cylinder engine provide better fuel economy. But the Jeep Compass new powertrain gets the best of the trio, it's EPA rated for 2430 seconds of a mile per gallon city slash highway, a not insignificant 3 and 6 miles more, respectively, than the Bronco Sport Heritage Limited. It's worth noting how capable the Bronco Sport Badlands is when the pavement ends, and how that should transfer to the Heritage Limited. The throwback model receives all of the Badlands goodies, an upgraded rear axle and torque vectoring, an upgraded suspension with increased ground clearance, skid plates, model-specific bodywork, 29-inch all-terrain tires, a nose camera, and additional off-road modes. Meanwhile, the Bronco Sport Badlands excelled on the trails against the Compass Trailhawk with the previous powertrain, and we have no reason to believe it won't continue to do so as a heritage model. Ford wants to take us back to the Bronco's origins with this appearance trim, and it sort of succeeds. On the outside, classic Robin's egg blue is one of three colors the Limited offers, the others are Yellowstone metallic and peak blue, and it meshes well with contrasting Oxford white bits like the roof and wheels. Splashes of red from the 1960s era badging offer a pop of color, but we're more struck by the Bronco Sport's exterior dimensions in general. With the exterior motif, we'd swear it looked right out of 1966. As it turns out, although it's the smaller Bronco now, the Sport is actually still bigger than the original, about 20 inches longer and 5 inches wider. For what it's worth, the Hyundai Kona, 
Kia Soul, and Jeep Renegade are all bigger than the original Bronco, too. Interior space is still ample, which means there's more headroom, thanks to a tall roof, legroom, and cubic feet of cargo space than found in the 2023 Compass. The cargo management system in our test SUV is pretty cool, too, as it serves as a lockable shelf slash divider in the back that can turn into a table and also fold to stow behind the rear seats. Bummer about the rear doors, though, which seem to only open to about 75 degrees, and the rear entries are on the narrow side to boot. Then again, if you're buying this small SUV, it may not be to haul around more than a couple other people. The seats are comfortable enough, and with the Heritage Limited they come trimmed in an almost baseball mitt tan perforated leather. We also like the powered front seat's range of adjustability, but we wish the center console armrests were just as flexible. Huge windows facilitate excellent outward visibility. Although its resolution and functionality are good, the 8.0-inch central touchscreen seems small, especially when Subaru outfits its Crosstrek with an 11.6-inch display. We're also pretty high on all the different places to stash stuff in the Bronco Sports Cabin. There are dash pockets under the infotainment controls and at the bottom of the center stack and the second row features zip-up pouches and Maya pouch elastic storage straps on the back of the front seats. Hardcore fans should dig the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport Heritage Limited most of all, but it's moot now, as the 2023 allotment of 1,966 units, commemorating the original's first year, is spoken for. This test SUV came with a sticker price of $46,455, $150 of which was due to options. That $6,770 more than the 2023 Bronco Sport Badlands MSRP and $9,115 more than the 2023 Jeep Compass Trailhawk, a hefty sum for some retro panache. Is the styling worth the premium? Probably not for most people. But Ford got the nostalgic elements correct here, and they come atop a really compelling small SUV that is arguably better than the Bronco it spun off from. With a 2.0-liter engine, the Bronco Sport has plenty of power. What's more, all variants handle nicely and offer a comfortable ride, and the model's off-road capability is no joke. Although fuel economy could be better and the central screen could be bigger, this is a notably practical vehicle. Heritage model or not, there's lots of style, too. Ultimately, we say get the Heritage Limited if you so desire, but the value proposition is better with standard Bronco Sport models.